Maintenance of Beliefs Part 2. Reaffirmation, reformulation, reinterpretation and application of reaffirmed beliefs to new circumstances. Simplified. When a religious tradition is forced to maintain a belief as a result of an internal or external factor, it needs to reaffirm to its adherents that the belief is still good, it's still true, and it still counts. This is called reaffirmation. The belief is affirmed again. In response to an internal or external factor, such as a heresy, the religious tradition will usually re-evaluate the belief, often at a council or meeting of the social structure's leadership. For Catholics, the highest council is an ecumenical council at which all the bishops are called together to discuss big issues of faith. After re-evaluating the belief and the challenge, the tradition usually reaffirms the belief in one of three ways. You can find definitions of these in the description below. Firstly, there's a straight reaffirmation. And this occurs when the leadership of a tradition restates a belief using the same language and understanding. In other words, they say, what we believe before is right, and it needs no alteration. Whatever challenged our belief does not prompt any change. Alternatively, they could use reformulation, and this occurs when the leadership decides that to properly reaffirm the belief, the way the belief is expressed in words, ritual, or symbol needs changing. Importantly, the belief itself remains the same, just the expression changes. An example of this occurred at the Council of Nicaea when the bishops of the Christian Church decided that to reaffirm the belief that Jesus is really God, the Church needed a formal creed. We always believed Jesus was God, but now we had a better way of expressing that. The belief was reformulated. In other words, it was given a new or better formula. Reinterpretation occurs when the leadership agrees that the belief is good, but it might be able to be understood in a different way. A good example of this is the shift from strictly literal understanding of the Genesis creation story to a more nuanced, poetic truth reading. The belief that scripture is true has not changed and never will, but in response to scientific developments, the understanding of what that truth means has developed. Application of reaffirmed beliefs to new circumstances is quite a mouthful, but simply this means that whatever form of reaffirmation is used, be that straight reaffirmation, reformulation, or reinterpretation, it needs to be advertised well. The tradition needs to find a way to communicate the reaffirmed beliefs to adherents and the wider society in a meaningful way. The new circumstances could be a new time, a new place, or a new culture. If religious traditions can successfully reevaluate their beliefs and reaffirm them in response to the inevitable internal and external challenges that come, they will survive and grow. If it fails to affirm beliefs, it might find itself irrelevant or split into factions. In our next video, we'll deal with Catholic examples of all of these concepts.